Hi, it's Maggie the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your August 2023 mid-month general reading. We are looking at the last half of August and this reading is for the fire sign of Sagittarius. Welcome everyone. I hope you're all doing well as always to start with my gratitude uh, for those of you who take the time to watch the videos on this channel. You're liking, sharing, subscribing, especially hitting that like button. It does help move the channel along. Uh, those of you who comment, who reach out for personal readings, and who refer and recommend my gratitude. Thank you so much and many blessings back to you. So we'll I almost said Aquarius for some reason. <laughs> Sagittarius. If your sun, moon, rising, Venus sign is in Sagittarius, this reading is for you. If you're cross-watching for a Sagittarian, this reading is also relevant. Now, if you know your sun, moon, rising, Venus signs, watch those for additional insight and perspective. General readings always resonate a little differently for everyone. And if you find that something really does resonate with you, it touches you, and you'd like to uh, perhaps take a deeper look and reach out for a personal reading or information about that for yourself, as a gift for someone else, or you simply like the reading style and you're interested in a personal reading, please email me directly at Maggie, the number one McGuire at gmail.com. You can also get that email address, that contact info by clicking the description link or the title of this video. I would love to hear from you and I can usually respond within the same day for more with more information. I do offer a pretty wide variety of choices for readings of all different types, lengths, and all areas of lives for all budgets. There's something for everyone in there. And uh, I do readings full time, so scheduling of personal readings is done in a pretty timely fashion too because it's all that I do. So if you're interested, email me. I'd love to hear from you. Okay, Sagittarius, let's move right into the last half of August for you. I am using the Tarot of Dreams and clarifying with the Radiant Rider weight. <coughs> We begin with the beginning, an exciting new beginning, the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Fire, a new opportunity, the start of a new path. It holds excitement, creativity, charisma, passion, enthusiasm. With the Three of Wands, you've laid the groundwork. You're feeling very positive, hopeful, optimistic about the future. You're starting to see some of your efforts paying off. And then we have the Three of Swords, emotional pain, heartbreak, breakup, separation, disappointment. Of course, this is a general reading, so the intensity will vary. But at the very least, it's disappointment. With the Eight of Swords, feeling trapped, held hostage, bound, feeling like you can't affect any changes. Oh, this is happening and there's nothing I can do about it. However, the Eight of Swords is self-limiting because swords is governed by the element of air which governs what goes on up here so it represents communication and education but it also represents our belief systems and ideologies our perspectives because our beliefs is what drives our what we think is our definition of reality and how we relate to that reality so the eight of swords is actually being trapped by your own um, mental processes your own belief systems or ideas that you have could be somebody close to you as well next we have the ten of cups happy home white picket fence tens representing cycle completion or fulfillment so the ten of cups particularly in relation to home and family represents that you feel like things have finally come together everything is harmonious even balanced it's a card that represents home family marriage children uh, you know it's it's the happy home card with the page of coins messages messengers young person i'm feeling perhaps a young person here it's it's kind of a, a very up and down because we have these four positive cards and in the middle we have the three of swords and, and eight of swords from the bottom of the deck the overall energy is the five of wands which so the overall energy for the last half of August is the Five of Wands, which is a card of conflict, internal conflict with yourself, external conflict with other people, a combination of those things, competitive energy, or just kind of going around and around about the same thing over and over again, but neither side being willing to compromise because everybody wants to be right, everybody wants to have the last word, so it just goes around and around and around. 
So there's a disagreement here or a dispute here, Sagittarius, and it does feel like it's under the umbrella of the family or the home. Um, now that might be immediately f immediate family. It could be like, you know, in your relationship with another person, boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife. It could be with children, could be with parents, or it could be with the extended family. But I feel here like it's an, there's an issue here. Let's, let's check out that overall energy of the five of wands and see what that conflict is about. The Empress and the Two of Pentacles. Choices and decisions. The Empress can be a mother or a mother figure. So there could be a mother or a mother figure. You might be the mother here or the parent. Because this is a general reading, so you can't really be too specific about gender. Um, The Empress can represent, you know, sometimes, particularly if this is about a young person, the, the Empress can represent on her negative side. I mean, this is, you know, the divine feminine, right? It's always about, uh, it can be about indulgence and pampering yourself and taking care of yourself in a positive way. But in, in the negative sense, sometimes the Empress can represent somebody who's spoiled or feels spoiled or entitled or wants to do too much, like spend too much money in one area when they can't really afford it, you know, something like that. It might be that, particularly if this is an issue around a young person here. Other than that, it might be you as a parent having issues with a member of the family, whether it's a child or your partner or extended family or vice versa, a mother or mother-in-law, something like that. Some kind of choice or decision, there's, there's disagreement here. Let's clarify the Ace of Wands. The Five of Wands again, and Death, Final Endings, Transformations, Final Endings. Something coming to an end and a new beginning starting, but not everybody is on board with it. Three of Wands. Page of Swords, Nine of Swords. Somebody's worried about information they have. Somebody's worried about an unknown future. Somebody's worried about something which hasn't ha happened yet, but might happen. It's interesting because I'm picking up that one person has made a decision to go down a certain path and they're really happy about this path. I don't know if it's you or somebody close to you, one or the other. It's a general reading, so it's probably going to be a mix. So, and they're really happy about it, but it's causing conflict with other people who aren't on board with it. And in a general reading, the, you know, the source of this conflict or the source of the, what, whatever the decision is or the new path is could be anything, literally anything. Clarify Three of Swords, Eight of Swords. Five of Swords, Seven of Cups. This is somebody who's determined, and this is the source of the pain or the disappointment. This is somebody who's really determined to follow their dream, even if that dream is not realistic. And it may be for some of you that somebody is disappointed with something just not working out. But again, it feels like for some of you, it, it's, it's you or somebody close to you. It's like, I'm going to do this thing and, and you or the other person is saying, that's not even realistic. You can't do that. What are you doing? That's not even a real thing or you're being impractical or you've got your head in the clouds that's kind of what I'm picking up but somebody's determined anyway nine of cups pursuing your dreams pursuing wishes granted 
So for some of you, this is going to be the disappointment of pursuing something that you really wanted. But then for some reason, you found yourself in a situation where you were telling yourself, I can't make it happen. And there's some kind of disappointment there or regret there. For others of you, it's you or somebody else who's chosen to do something and is getting a lot of flack from other people saying, this isn't realistic. You have your head in the clouds. This isn't even possible. You know, but that's not going to be practical kind of energy. But then it looks like it resolves here at the end with the Ten of Cups and the Page of Coins. Let's clarify that. Ten of Cups. Ace of Swords. This is the clue, the epiphany, somebody seeing the light. <laughs> The Ten of Cups again. Ooh, lots of happy home energy. And the Eight of Pentacles. Work, nose to the grindstone. It might be about job, work, career. It might be about the house itself. It might be about, you know, seeing the level of, of actual practical work that needs to go into something in order to make it happen. And either they set a different plan or maybe they abandon something because it isn't realistic. It feels like somebody sees something the perspective that they need to or the person who's opposing this new path i don't know they have some kind of epiphany it could be something they hear a conversation that happens and it's like they see it in a different light and then they accept it because what i'm getting here regardless of how this this happens is that somebody sees something and because of that there's an acceptance here and a peace and a harmony and an acceptance so somebody else can move forward a and again it feels like this is all family related or there's a familial energy to it the world the four of wands another happy home card reaching an end graduation milestones reached for some of you it might be you know children graduating and moving out of the house and you're like ah, there's nothing i can do about it because this is the way it goes right this is a natural kind of occurrence it might be that for some of you and that can vary in its intensity but it again it feels like acceptance and peace at the end of it um, moving forward there's like some conflict about a new path conflict about how it should be what it should be whether it's practical or unrealistic but then conversations occurring, somebody finds a new perspective and they're seeing it in a different way, which helps, which helps the home and family kind of regain that peace and harmony so that they can move forward because somebody is moving forward, being very decisive. Again, it might be somebody leaving home for the first time. Interesting reading. All right, let's end with advice, guidance, feedback, or any messages for Sagittarius from Spirit. Last half of August 2023. Page of Cups. Positive messages. Loving, supportive messages. The Four of Swords. The Four of Cups. The Hermit. Okay, this is expressing how you feel just a simple but loving way direct but a loving way of expressing how you feel and then stepping back stepping out stepping away it may be that the, a person you don't agree with the decisions they've made or how they're making them it may be that because of that it gives them enough time because they're not being battered or nagged at it gives them enough time to kind of see the truth or reality of something it may be that you're the one that's on this new path or somebody is not agreeing with you and um, you explain yourself very simply, very lovingly, but firmly. And because of that, they find a way to come to understanding and acceptance. Because what I'm getting here for advice and guidance is to deliver the message with a loving base and then step back, take a step back and let them figure it out. That's the wise thing to do here because they will. That's what I'm seeing here. Um, so avoid the argument, avoid the debating, avoid the fighting. Just very simply present what you want and then t or pr present how you feel and then take a step back. Because it feels like, again, peace and acceptance at the end. But don't engage in the debate or the argumentative behavior because that will only kind of cement the other side's opinion 
Okay. I'm going to leave it there, Sagittarius. Those are your messages for the last half of August 2023. I hope you had enjoyed it, found it helpful and useful and relevant for you. <clears throat> Again, if this did resonate with you and you'd like to take a deeper look at something or you simply like the reading style and if you are interested in a personal reading with me for yourself or as a gift with, for someone else, please feel free. Email me directly, Maggie, the number one McGuire at gmail.com. You can also see that by clicking the description link or the, the title of this video. I would be delighted to hear from you and to work with you. I will see you all in a couple of weeks for the September general readings. Stay safe and well. Hope to see you back here again very soon. Bye-bye.